Tonight with a trial that has been set for a Santa Cruz neurosurgeon accused of child sex abuse. At the Santa Cruz County Courthouse this morning, demonstrators were on hand, urging the judge not to set bail for Dr. James Cohood. The judge did set bail, but he did try and make sure it wouldn't be easy for Cohood to come up with the cash. Bail's been set at six and a half million. Action News reporter Phil Gomez has more in our top story. Deputy District Attorney Stephen Moore argued that Cohut owns five properties in Santa Cruz County, still receives income from these rentals, and has an unknown amount of assets. The prosecutor asked the judge to set the bail at $40 million. That drew approval from the crowd, but a scolding from the judge. No clapping, no sign, no comments. You need to be very quiet and respectful. Please, Mr. Moore. We thought there were risk factors that made that a number that should have been picked higher. Um, but the court disagreed. The court had a formula that um, the, the, the court found to be adequate. Kohut's defense attorney called that amount unconstitutional. The defense claimed Kohut is going through a separation and his assets are frozen by a temporary injunction filed by his wife. He asked the judge for bail to be set at $1 million. Bail was set at $6.4 million. Protesters outside the courthouse let the judge know that they didn't want Cohut to receive bail at all. I think it's wrong because of the severity of the crimes that he committed and that um, no amount of money, I think, no amount of bail, I, don't, I just don't think he should be let out. If Cohut posts bail, he would be under house arrest with GPS monitoring, no internet access, and no contact with potential witnesses or victims. He could only leave the house for medical purposes or court proceedings. Leaders in Community Alternatives provides the monitoring. If he were to deviate at all from his schedule, which would be at home at all times except for those aforementioned appointments, then we would get immediate notification that would also be immediately relayed to the sheriff. Salazar also approved a joinder motion to allow co-defendant Rochelle Brandon and Coet to be tried together. As for the third defendant, Emily Stevens, a governor's warrant has been issued for her extradition back to California. Her next court date is July 13th in an Arizona courtroom. In Santa Cruz, Phil Gomez, KSBW, Action News 8. Cohut's co-defendant, Rochelle Brandon, was also in court today facing similar charges related to Cohut and has already had bail set at half a million dollars. Brandon's defense attorney, Anthony Robinson, says there was a dating relationship and that the traumatic events and abuse from her past have caused her to suffer from PTSD. Both defendants are scheduled to be back in court July 27th for them to set a preliminary hearing. Brandon has not posted bail and is still in the Santa Cruz County Jail.